Hadley, who are we gonna draw today? Ladybug. Ladybug from Raculous. We hope you're gonna follow along with us. And what do they need? A marker, some paper, something to color with. Something to color with. Tales of Ladybug and Cat Noir. Oh! <laughs> I don't know why I did that. <laughs> All right, let's start. Now we're first gonna draw Ladybug's eyes. We're gonna draw two circles in the middle of our paper, but we're gonna draw uh, with some space in between. So I'm gonna leave a little space, come over here and draw another circle. Yeah. Good job. Now inside of this, we're gonna draw another circle. Towards the top, I'm gonna draw it smaller inside. Yes, there you go. And then we're gonna color that little circle in. Now we're gonna draw the outside of our eyes. We're gonna draw an upside down U and we're gonna to touch at the top of the circle. And we'll do the same thing on the right side also. Like we did with Cat Noir. Yeah. Then let's connect the bottom of her eyes. We're gonna draw a curve that connects the inside out to the outside and do the same thing on the left. Perfect, we did our eyes. Now let's draw her head or the bottom of her head. We're gonna draw her chin. We'll start over here and we're gonna draw a big U shape that comes under and then over on the other side. Now let's draw the bottom of her mask. We're gonna draw a curve that goes under her eye, over her nose, and back under her other eye. That's a fun line to draw. Whee. Over her nose, back Whee. under, yeah. <laughs> it's like a roller coaster. <laughs> then let's draw her nose, draw a little curve, and then I'm also gonna draw her mouth underneath, and then we can also draw a U-shape so her mouth is open, she's really happy, and then you can color that shape in. Now let's draw the top of her head. We're gonna draw a big rainbow line that goes over the top <laughs> and she looks bald. Kinda like me. <laughs> then we're gonna draw her hair. We're gonna draw a little curve that comes down towards her eye. And then we're gonna come back up to the top Whoa. of her head. I know, looks a little funny. I promise it'll look better when we're done. <laughs> we're gonna draw another curve. Watch this, this is gonna be really cool. We're gonna come down like this and then we're gonna come close to her hair, or her eye, over here. And then I'm gonna curve down a little and then back up. Yep, and then we'll connect over to the side of her head. All right, now let's draw the top of her mask that's in between the hair. And this is kind of where her hair parts. We'll draw the top of her mask just curving over her eye. All right, we did it, we drew her head. Now she has a few more pieces of hair sticking down that comes in front of her face. So we're gonna draw a little piece of hair that comes down on the left and also over here on the right. Yeah, one on the other side. You're doing such a great job. Mm -hmm. And it's okay that our drawings look a little different, right? Yeah. Both look awesome, especially yours. <laughs> and that's because the most important thing is- To have fun. To have fun and to- Practice. Practice. Those are the two most important things. Yes. We say it all the time and that's because we mean it. All right, let's keep drawing. <laughs> now let's draw her ear. We're gonna draw a little C shape that comes out on the side of her head. And we'll draw a backward C on the other side. Okay, now she has hair sticking out on each side, little piggy tails. We're gonna draw a curve that comes down like that. And we could do the same thing on the other side. Let's draw a curve that matches over here. Then we're gonna draw an S curve that goes back into her head. So we're gonna curve one direction and then back the other direction. S. Up, looks like an S line. We're gonna imagine it going through that little piece of hair and connecting to her chin. Let's do the same thing over here. Curve up and then back down. And then imagine it going behind the hair and connecting to her chin. The little hair ties or the rubber bands stick out. And so we're gonna draw a little piece that comes out and then back in. And we'll do the same thing over here on this side too. Out, back in. Kind of looks like little antennas. Yeah. A little bit. <laughs> All right, Hadley, let's come back up here. Let's add a couple more hairlines. We're gonna draw one right here coming down. And then we can add another one right here in the front of her hair. Yeah. 
Now what is she missing down here? Her body. Her body. Let's draw two lines coming out. And down at the bottom, they get further apart from each other, where they flare. Yeah. Good. Now let's draw our feet. We're going to draw pointy little feet. We're going to draw two lines that come out on each side. Then let's draw the bottom of her feet coming back in. And we want these to be the same length on each side. Yes. Then we're going to connect her feet with an upside down V. <laughs> She's so cute. She kind of looks like a little kid or a baby version <laughs> of Ladybug, yeah. which is my favorite. <laughs> then let's draw her arms. We're going to draw a line that comes out from her shoulder and curves around and connects to her waist. It's kind of a simple way to draw her arm. Then let's add a little thumb or a U shape right next to her. Yeah, right next to her leg. And we'll repeat that same shape over here on this side. And then a little U for her thumb. That's a really simple way to draw arms. Yeah. Now let's add the spots to her costume. Let's draw one right in the middle of her forehead, in between her eyes. Then we're also going to draw a spot under each eye. So we'll just draw upside down U's under each eye. And then let's draw a U shape above her eye. And this one's covered up by her hair, so we can leave that one off. Then let's add spots to her body. I'm going to draw three spots coming down the front of her body. Like a snowman. Yeah, kind of like a snowman. <laughs> then I'm going to draw two spots right here on each side. And we can also draw two more spots below those two. Now I'm going to add a spot on her leg. And then also, let's add spots on our arm. I'm going to draw a half circle or semicircle right here and also on the other side of our arm. And repeat that same thing on this side. Half circle on the inside and one on the outside. Let's add a couple more half circles on our body. Let's add one right here where her hips would be or the outside of her legs. Then let's also add one on the inside of her leg. All right, Hadley, let's color in her spots black with her marker. Now you guys can pause the video to color in her spots, but we still have even more coloring to do, right Hadley? Yeah. Now this part we're gonna fast forward, but at the end you can pause it again to match the same coloring. Hadley, while you're coloring her mask red, I'm gonna show our art friends a fun way to color her hair. Now, her, her hair is really shiny, so we're gonna add a blue highlight to the top of her hair and also her ponytails. And this part's fun because I'm just gonna scribble. So I'm just gonna go back and forth <laughs> scribble, on the scribble, top. Scribble. Yeah, scribble. And just, it's okay that it looks messy because it's supposed to look natural. It's her hair, and you don't want it to look perfect. So I just went back and forth zigzags to make that highlight across her, the top of her head. I'm gonna do the same thing over here on her ponytail. That, and I'm doing it on the top of her ponytail. I'll do the same thing on this side. Just zigzag back and forth for that little highlight. And then I'm gonna color the rest of it black. All right, Hadley, we did it. We finished coloring Ladybug and she turned out so much better colored in. I especially love yours and you did such a great job on making her hair look shiny. What was your favorite part? I like the eyes. The eyes? I really like the eyes too. We used two colors. We used a blue and also a light aqua on the bottom to make them look super shiny. And we added a little white colored pencil on the pupil to make them look like they have highlights. We hope you had a lot of fun drawing your ladybug. Yes, we do. We hope you had a lot of fun, and I'm sure your drawings turned out super awesome. And we'll see you later, art friends. Goodbye! Goodbye.